Welcome all guys and gals, you are here today with the Dragon. And today we're going to be covering Terra, which is a, a new free to play MMO that just dropped on the PS4 and Xbox. And good thing for you, I'm going to be covering the 10 best beginner tips for you all. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 10, camera distance. Control of the camera is crucial in any MMO. Terra is absolutely no different. By pressing the options button and the corresponding keys on Xbox and PS4 to the middle button, you're able to back up the camera and bring it in, increasing your vision range, which for me is really helpful in large scale battles, PvP. I usually like to keep it around mid range if I'm doing any solo content. You should be able to find something that works perfect for you. Number 9, Extra Slots. In the options menu under gameplay is a tab to unlock extra slots replacing the L2 key. You are able to map all the keys to the L2 slot, except the jump key. This truly allows you to create your own configuration, which should give you one of the best experiences for your own personal taste. Take note that you will lose whatever skills that are mapped to the L2 slots, so you'll need to push the middle button and hit the down key in order to see those corresponding skills and remap them. Number 8. Terra comes with a ton of skills for each class, some of which combo into others, enhancing or reducing the charge or making any of the spells insta-cast. What I found was that some of the skills just weren't on my UI, so what I'd have to do is go in there and map them onto the additional slots um, that I was able to open up in the options. Number 7. Inventory space. So once you start out, it's going to be super limited. You're only going to have about 40 slots or so. Um, which really isn't enough because you'll probably pick up more than 40 items before you know the first couple hours in the game. So what you'll do is head over to Getty in the first town, Velkia, and you will go ahead and buy as much inventory as you can get. You can get another 40 slots for about 400 gold, which if you've got one of the founders packs should be pretty easy to come across just by selling some of the gems. If not, it may be a bit of a grind for you as you won't be able to open any lock boxes to get any of the expensive items. Tip number six, enhancing. Enhancing is made very simple. Get the correct tier feed stop, Malkis, and combine. It's quick, simple, and easy. The mob drop the mass that you have, and boom, you're ready to go, get right back into combat. I usually go with the recommended settings for upgrading the gear, but if you want to push your luck or maybe feeling um, feeling like you've got the luck of the Irish for a day or two, then you can go ahead and use a tier of feedstock below the recommended, but be warned, Alkahest, you'll be blowing through those pretty quickly. Extra tip alert. Um, what I would do with your strong box keys is I would actually hold on to those until you hit max level. Um, I ended up blowing all of mine early in just to see you know, what kind of items you get, but I realized that the stronger lock boxes you find actually open up better items for more in gameplay. Tip number five, artifact gear. Early on in the story you will find this very, very powerful piece of equipment um, just while you're fighting mobs that are going to drop. You'll see a nice big red glare, boom, it's an artifact piece of equipment. Once you combine, you are between 6 to 10 of these, you'll unlock a very, very nice piece of equipment for your level that should push you through the next 5 to 7 levels, I would say. Um, these are artifact gears and they're great for enhancing and upgrading. These are probably going to be one of the best pieces of gear that are going to push you through as you level through the process. And uh, in game wise, I can't speak for yet, so we will get there at some point. Tip number four, enchantment. Enchantment resetting is something that you can do on any yellow piece of gear or higher. Where you'll combine two pieces of mats, either a common enigmatic scroll and a common ID scroll, and try to re-roll the enchantments on your yellow gear or your artifact gear. Or you can combine um, the paid version, which is the intricate scrolls, as well as the intricate identification scroll, and that has a higher chance to reset all the enchantments. You can lock them on there as well, which will help with creating your customized build. So say I'm playing a healer and I really want to key in, you know, defensive um, and defensive techniques as well as techniques that increase my healing and lower my, my aggro. Then obviously I would try to bind those onto that piece of equipment and reset the rest until I'm able to really get that customized piece of gear that I was wanting. 
Tip number three, ruins. These are going to go hand in hand with enchantment resetting and enhancements in order to compromise your full in-game build. So ruins essentially are going to equip into either your main weapon or your upper body armor and they're going to compromise increased defenses and the MP reg in, increased critical and damages, anything like that. Currently what I'm doing at this low level is really just adding crit and any damage ruins into my gear and any MP reg in into my, into my armor. Um, this, is due, this is due to the fact that I am clearing my up way too fast in order to really slow down and worry about defenses. Um, it just doesn't come to the mix currently. Tip number two, the Terror Store, as well as the Founders Packs. I'll go ahead and bundle both of them in here. So what you want to do is probably pick up a Founders Pack um, in order to get you a free mount, some pets. When I say free, obviously you'll be paying for it, but it comes with mounts, pets. Um, I believe some of them come with coins as well and a host of items as you get more, um, as you get higher up into the tiers. With the Terror Store, outside of a few of the cosmetic pieces that you'd probably be interested in, um, there's really not much that I would recommend outside of maybe the mount if you want to get any of the XP boost, any of the enigmatic scrolls for in-game. You do definitely want to pick up one of the pets. My recommendation is the auto loot pet. And the reason is because you can increase your store space through a number of ways as well as your inventory. But having the ability to auto loot is something that you, you can't do any other way. So that's definitely one of my top recommendations there. Um, the Twitch Prime is also a great way to get you a free pet as well as a mount. Comes with a free auto loot pet. A couple of days of, uh, it looks like the Elite status as well. And I did have the opportunity to spend some time and really look at what I wanted to get. get got some enigmatic scrolls. Wasn't able to get a master with weapon, so wasted a ton of mats. I'm um, trying to do that, and it would have been better probably just to, to sell the the stuff that I got from the terror store. So um, it's kind of my take on it. But number one is definitely, definitely, definitely. I, I just said it. It's going to be the auto loot pet. Without that, from the start to the finish, I mean, you're running around non-stop, so that just makes the game a lot easier. Um, and with some of the other tips that I have, you know, making it easier UI as well as the skill bar, it should create a really customized experience for you. But until next time, um, I'll be playing this, so follow along. I'll be on Twitch. I'm trying to get on Mixer, but I don't think they have that on PS4. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. You guys have a good day. Peace out.